we arrived. We're in Exenses Park. This is like a water resort slash optical illusion slash like meant to be like a mind screw of your mind sort of thing. No idea what to expect. So you get to join me as I try and work out where to go. Even like it's constantly mirrors and uh, wrong like dead ends and stuff. Like, it's literally like a maze. And it's meant to blow your mind. Or as the, as the tour guide described this, as the tour guide described it to us, mind. So we'll see. some sensory experiences, complete darkness, so I won't bother filming, but you meant to keep spaces, keep walking, and you go through apparently lots of different ecosystems, deserts, uh, uh, jungle, I think all the biomes in Minecraft, all of those basically, but it looks pretty cool. No, some people have gone in and come back out because they didn't want to finish it, so we'll see how it goes. That was cool as hell. Literally complete darkness. And it was as if you're walking through like a jungle with things brushing against you then suddenly you're in like a freezing cold like icy waters walking through and it's like you're walking up through rocks like a mountain it was like a whole ass journey that was really cool it was obviously nerve-wracking because we're in complete darkness i kept kicking things once i stubbed my toe quite a few times but that was an interesting experience just walking 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 not knowing what it is you're walking into but purely having to rely on your sight, not, sorry, not your sight, your feeling and your hearing. I mean, your smell as well, there was like lavender or you could smell like the swamp and things like that. But yeah, just leaving out, oh wow. That is like crystal clear water, but stagnant as hell. So all kinds of diseases in that probably. The illusion is that we're walking like steeply uphill, which is pretty cool. and again fit it up and we'll see how it goes. Back where we started, all the 
activity has been done all the sensory stuff. It was really cool. If there are any more, I'll uh, keep you posted. But yeah, I definitely recommend this place. It was, uh, it's a fun day out. I mean, it's only like a half day. It's like it takes you two, three hours or so to do go around. So I recommend it. We're going to get our picture package as well and uh, see some of the cool pictures that it took along the way. But for now, walking back down the, uh, the wonky street. Uh, back to the start and see if there's anything else to do. Oh, the dead ends. Oh. Guys, can you come in? Oh, the dead ends. Oh. What the hell? You just disappeared. Oh. oh, hello. There we go. Let's go. Wow. I'm confused, why is this a thing? Good morning, buenos dias. We have arrived in Shellha Park. This is like a sort of water-based park. We can snorkel, swim with manatees, dolphins and things like that. So not too sure what we're going to do today. There's a few things I want to check out, but whatever we do, I will bring you guys along. There's the lighthouse you see back there with the big slides going down it. So we're definitely going to check that out at some point. Alright, let's get in. This is going to be freezing. Oh god, it's freezing, yeah. Alright, I'm hanging about. Oh. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. But we have this entire area basically to snorkel about. We've got our own uh, equipment, but you can hire it out here. Obviously, you've got to wear life jackets because it is like an open lake, cove. I'm not too sure what this would be classed as. We're basically going to go, there's loads of different spots. You can see, like, over there, there's another spot. Over here, there's more spots. So yeah, there's loads of different spots. This big ass lighthouse looking slide looks pretty cool. Uh, there's different coves and some different animals. We haven't decided if and what we'd want to do today. I'm just going to kind of swim about and wing it. But there's meant to be loads and loads of fish in this cove. So actually, while we're here, let's take a look. Oh. Okay, I can see some small fish. I don't know how well they came out on camera, but we'll see. Doing a bit of vibing. Everyone else, they just seem to borrow that rock cove. I've had a look, there's some full footage there from that. Uh, all the fish are like congregating around this little cove. But um, yeah, what a lovely view. I mean, some of the things I've done here in Mexico have been insane because obviously, the scenery is better, the weather's better, the animals are better. So, uh, yeah, I mean, what's not to love about this? Sun, sea, and fish. Annoyingly, they didn't let you take a camera on the water slide. It was cool as hell, and there would have been some cool picture opportunities because it was so tall. You could see all the way down to like Playa del Carmen, where we are, all along the river Riviera Maya, all the way up to Tulum, which is like that direction. But now, currently, we're walking to another part of the river so we can swim and splash around a bit more. And there's a couple of like zip lines and stuff, and some cliff jumping you can do. So we'll see how that goes. These people are currently doing some scuba diving. God, lots of fish around that dude. Thank <laughs> you. 
you at all because there's no current. You just float about. We want to grab on to the mangroves to try and uh, direct ourselves. So Lauren's trying to do it. It's, it's difficult as hell. that the Mayans use. Quite a few dotted around here. You can't swim in these ones because obviously they must be uh, protected or they're still in, in use, but it looks lovely. There's looks like a zip line or is that electricity? Not 100 percent sure. platform in the middle of the river that way goes back to the start of the river this you can all snorkel in all of this over there is the uh, ocean we came down that slide earlier on the edge of the ocean, I believe it's the Caribbean Ocean, but I'll probably correct myself below, so I'm probably wrong, but look at this. It specifically says do not enter, which seems pretty obvious because the waves are pretty mad here. I think you'd be dead in like a couple of minutes if you got caught in these waves, especially against these rocks. 